Good afternoon, everybody. Today is January 17th, and we did a work session today. I'm going to go through this somewhat quick. Uh, we did have a bunch of discussion today. We did talk about spending some money for compliancy, recorder's compliancy fund on new aerial pictometry. This would be a satellite image of Itasca County. We do this every five years. The quality of picture has increased immensely. The last time we did this was three foot. Uh, it's down to six inches now. We did have have great talk about it that moved on for our next week's meeting uh, we did have a great talk about uh, the highway 169 expressway this is a agency that we hired at flaherty and hood that agency is our lobbyist trying to push this on to the state of minnesota and mindot to help get money to take the four lane highway 169 that ends right there by taconite going eastward to extend that all the way through over to pengilly we have decided to continue with this, to give it another year. As commissioners, we are not interested in doing a long distance marathon run here. We are more interested in doing a, a sprint when the state of Minnesota has $9.2 billion extra. I would hope that one of this, this might be up on their radar. We did have a good jail update with Joe Dasovich. Joe gave us a great update on the jail. Our sheriff did hand us out where we have had some overrun change orders, but for the most part, you will see more jail updates coming from Joe. It'll be monthly. February, really March, will be starting of the monthly. Well, it might even be weekly when we come into the summer and the fall time frame. We did make a priority list for our commissioners of what things we all would like to accomplish this year. And since three commissioners are brand new, those three were out pounding the doors this fall and talked to a lot of taxpayers. What were the things that were the big talk and what would you like to accomplish? And I'm just going to read... We came up with nine. Don't get me wrong, there was a lot more than nine, but uh, we came up with nine that we thought we could accomplish. So the first one is roads. Number two would be logging in Huber and the paper mill and to try to keep all that alive and well. Number three is budgets. You will see us work hard this year again to keep our budget to the minimum. Number four, uh, we'll call it public safety. Uh, so this is jail, probation, our pit water over in Canastillo, um, any other kind of administrative type of thing when it, keeping our people safe. So county operations, this would be more of meetings with our department heads. Grand Village falls into this. I Am Care falls into this. Number six would be VRBO ordinance, uh, which would be short-term lodging. Mining is number seven. Number eight would be a land management issues. And number nine would be a countywide tour uh, slash coffee. So those are some of our priorities uh, to get done. I'm sure there, things will change. This is a working document. The last thing I would just tell you, we're going to go about uh, um, commissioner comments. One of them was this. Uh, numerous commissioners have had phone calls about what happened last week, we talked about the $25 million bond. Uh, so the $25 million bond that you heard about last week, that was for the jail. Um, so everybody understands this. So there's two bonds for this brand new jail. One's a $50 million bond for the jail itself. You cannot, you cannot spend money on remodeling anything else, you know, and we are remodeling some of the court courthouse and we're adding another uh, well, courtroom, we're adding another courtroom, we're remodeling the other courtrooms. Um, so there is money there that we can't use the first bond on, and you have to have a second bond. Um, so there's a $50 million bond for the jail, a $25 million bond for the courthouse and anything else that might f fall outside of the jail bond for a grand total of $50 million, not $100 million. It's 75 million total, 50 million and 25 million equals 75 million. There's where we're at. When we went to the state of Minnesota for our 1% sales tax, that's what the dollar figure was, 75 million. And, and that's what we're sticking to. Any questions, you are more than welcome to look up any of our districts or commissioner's districts and give us a call. All of our cell phones are on uh, the website. 
Uh, so if you have any concerns, please give us a call. I'll use myself. If you don't like talking to me and you like talking to Terry, then call Terry. And, and he can help, even though you might live in my district. Uh, and vice versa. If you don't like Terry and you want to call me, then you call me. But we will inform each other. But the whole idea there is to get to your, your concern uh, and try to fix uh, or help your concerns. So we can, sometimes we can't. But for the most part, uh, try to, uh, to make our taxpayers happy that they live here in Itasca County and try to fix anything that we can do. Thank you so much. Have a good day.